This video is copyright protected, which is detailed on the last slide. In this video, we will cover what to do with a Liquimax brine sprayer before its first use of the day. We will cover how to fill your tank using a transfer pump. There are also several items that you can check for while the tank is filling and an operations check will be performed. Begin by connecting the hose from a storage tank to the transfer pump, then a hose from the transfer pump to the onboard tank. Connect the hose and open the valve to ensure that it's in line with the hose. And you can also check the other yellow handle in the pump platform and ensure that it's in the inline position as well. Open the shutoff valve on the storage tank. Start the transfer pump engine. While the tank is filling, it's a good idea to select the nozzles that you would like to use for your first job. You should also check the oil and gas in the engine and ensure that the tank and platform are secured to the truck. Shut down the transfer pump engine when the onboard tank is full. Close the storage tank shutoff valve. Then shut off the brine sprayer valve and remove the hose. Next, start the engine and bring up to running speed. Get in the cab of the truck and turn on the console. Move the selector switch to run and ensure that it's in manual mode. Rotate the selector knob to the right position and move all three switches on top to on. Go back to the rear of the truck and ensure all three zones are spraying. It's also a good idea to check that the center boom nozzles are not clogged at this time. Go back to the console and turn the switches off or move the selector to hold. Bring the engine down to idle speed and turn it off. Ops check complete. Your Liquid Max brine sprayer is now ready for its first job of the day. Thank you for watching and have an ice day. The following are registered or unregistered trademarks of Douglas Dynamics LLC, Snow X, and Liquid Max.